Good morning, PHS. Today is Thursday, March 16, 2017. I'm Matt Reisner. And I'm Garrett Tharp. And PTV News starts right now. As usual, we're going to kick things off with our SRT meetings. During SRT, we will have newspaper in room 120 and heart club in the library. After school, there is robotics in room 141 and winter winds in the music wing. From 5.30 to 9, there will be play practice in the auditorium. The yearbook staff wants you to show some love to the class of 2017. They will have light snacks and a lot of helpers on hand to assist you in creating grad ads. The event is for anyone who wants to show some love to one of the soon-to-be graduating seniors. Bring your favorite photos, print or digital, and a message for your favorite members of the class of 2017 and the yearbook staff will help you build a grad ad. Get your 2017 PHS yearbook senior ad order sheet by visiting the PHS website. Then come to the big event here at PHS room 120 on April 19th from 3.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. The PHS Prom Club will be having a rummage sale this Saturday, March 18th, 2017 from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at PHS. If you have any items you might like to donate towards Armor Sale, please contact any of the junior class sponsors. Mrs. Edmiston, Ms. Colling, Mrs. Weaver, Mrs. Marquette, Ms. Watson, or Ms. Dorr. Important to note, if your parents want to get rid of anything, they can donate items all the way until the end of the school day tomorrow. The PHS Theater Department is putting on their winter play, Transylvania, this Friday and Saturday. Cost to get in is $6 both evenings and the performance will begin at 7 p.m. in the PHS Auditorium. The play is open to the public and audience members of all ages are welcome to come and watch the comedy of teenage monsters attending Transylvania High School. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. for general seating. PHS Theaters Art 1, Theaters Art 2, Acting and Stage Crew classes are all working hard on this play. Please think about coming to one of the two performances. The spring officially begins on Monday, March 20th this year, and that means we're closing in on two weeks off of school for spring break. Our spring break starts on March 27th and will come to an end on April 7th. If you're going on a trip, traveling the world, or just doing a staycation here at home, that's cool, but PTV would love to know where you are heading and what you'll be doing over spring break. Just hashtag PTV at PHS this spring break while posting your pictures on social media and we'd love to share some of your pictures on our show when we get back. Seniors, listen up. Your cap and gown pickup will be held next Wednesday, March 22nd, in the North Lobby across from the Varsity Gym from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Make sure you make time to pick up these essential items so you can walk down the aisle this year with your class. Oh, by the way, tomorrow is St. Paddy's Day, so wear your green to show some St. Patrick's Day pride, and more importantly, so, don't, so you don't get pinched by your friends. Shout out to Angie Buss from our PTV Interactive Media crew for creating this awesome graphic. If you're planning on taking summer school, official registration for, this, for these courses is happening right now and will continue for the rest of this week and next week. The cost for each session is $20 unless you qualify for free, for free and reduced lunch and you will need to pay the fee when you register in order to reserve your spot. You can get more specific information about summer school by logging on to the PHS website and click on News. The guidance department would like you to remind seniors about the Indiana Latino Institute Scholarship. If you are applying to or are currently enrolled at any college or university in the state of Indiana this coming fall and you'll be taking at least six credit hours per semester, have a minimum 2.7 GPA, and you demonstrate financial need, you may qualify. You have to have documented voluntary community service in the past and will continue service involvement as well. Scholarship preference is given to Latino students residing in Indiana who are first-generation college students. If you're interested, please let the guidance department know. They will help you get moving on this opportunity. Also, seniors, please note, the process has begun and our timelines are tight for local scholarship opportunities. Please go to the guidance page of our PHS website and get your applications done ASAP. Stick around, PHS. After this quick commercial break, we'll be back with PTV Sports. Looking for a tasty treat? Then come on down to the Sugar Shack. The Sugar Shack Bakery is open 8 to 6, Tuesday through Friday, and 8 to noon on Saturday. 
Don't forget, every day after school from 3 to 6, we have happy hour where all of our fresh baked goodies are half price. Stop by Sugar Shack today at 401 East Jefferson in Plymouth, Indiana. Kicking off PTV Sports today, at the end of SRT, the brackets will lock on our big PTV March Madness contest. You still have around 120 minutes to join the contest, so if you're interested, hop on to bracketchallenge.ncaa.com and search for the group called PTV March Madness. That's us. After you have found the group, the password to join is PTV. We need to get at least 50 people to fill out a bracket who either work at PHS or attend school here in order to be able to offer some pretty big prizes. Our grand prize winner will receive a $50 gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings. That's our biggest award to date. We'll have a second and third place prize as well. So join now and fill out your bracket and then sit back and watch the games unfold. We will update you on who's winning next Thursday right here on PTV Sports. The tournament ends April 4th, so when we come back from spring break, we'll announce the top three winners. All right, guys, it's almost that time of the show, PTV Trivia Time. But before the big question, let's recap the previous PTV trivia question from last week. This video was captured by PTV photojournalist Juan Garcia. He was there when Mr. McKenzie's room cashed in their delicious prize, a couple of bags of donuts, for winning last week's trivia question. The question was, what three movies have the most Oscars? The answer is The Titanic, Ben-Hur, and The Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Thank you to the dozens of classes who took part in submitting your answers. Now, on to probably one of your favorite parts of the show, PTV Trivia Time. Teachers, get ready to email us your guests for this week's question because we have some mouth-watering, delicious donuts ready for one of our classrooms out there. The question in honor of the NCAA attorney is, what men's college basketball team has won the most national championships in NCAA history? If you know the answer, teachers, email us right now at phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us with your class's answer. But make sure only teachers email, no students, because that would get too confusing. Again, the question is, what men's college basketball team has won the most national championships in history? The email to send your answers to is phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Then at 10.55, five minutes before the SRT ends, we will randomly select a winner, giving everyone an even chance to win every week. PHS, it's time to talk about lunch. Today for lunch, we are having taco meat, cheese, tortilla chips, refried beans, and like always, much revered fruit and vegetable bar. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Make sure to get those brackets filled in. Until next time, I'm Matt Reisner. And I'm Garrett Tharp. Have a great rest of the day, PHS.